Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simon, and welcome to another episode of Gotham. Uh, the last episode was very interesting. It was uh, very unusual, um, as the main arc of the episode seems to revolve around a new character who's been introduced, um, a hypnotist, whose nickname is the Mad Hatter. Um, now, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, he's mad. Completely stark raving mad. Um, and he's got a big hat. And his sister is called Alice. So, you know, there's kind of those connections there. Um, but yeah, he basically spent the entire episode trying to find his sister. He employed Jim to uh, basically try and track her down, which Jim managed to do. Um, he found out that she is one of the escapees from Indian Hill. And she has a power that if her blood infects someone, it turns them into some kind of rabid human who just attacks everything it sees. Um, one thing that I didn't realize, because we saw earlier in the episode, the Mad Hatter, um, hypnotized and then later, like, killed a doctor and his partner. And I only realized that when Lee comes back later in that episode and she says that she and her fiance had moved there after he'd been offered the job, he's a doctor. And I was sitting there thinking, I wonder if the job that he was offered is the dead doctor's job. So in a way, the Mad Hatter, doing what he did, brought Lee and her fiancé to, to town. Um, I don't know if that's just coincidence or if it's something connected, I'm not sure. Either way, speaking of her fiancé, he is Mario Falcone. Um, he is the son of the gang lord or former gang lord, um, Vincent Falcone. Um, and on the face of it, he seems like an innocent person who got out of the family business before he ever had a chance to get in. I don't think that's quite what's going to happen. I think he's involved with some stuff. It just seems to feel natural to me that the one person who you think is innocent out of this crime family turns out to be probably the worst one. But that must, that might be just me jumping the gun and, you know, being as suspicious as I normally am. I'm not sure. Um, we also saw in the episode Bruce and Clone Bruce kind of interacting a bit more. We saw eventually Clone Bruce cut his hair, tried to imitate the real Bruce as best as he could, and he stole a car and went and found Selena, um, whom he convinced to come on a ride of him. She doesn't realize that's not the real Bruce. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where that story goes. And if we're going to see the, the Mad Hatter straight away in this episode, I'm not too sure. Either way, let's jump into this episode. Um, but before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, uh, Frank Tremel, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, and Flawed Otaku. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it and uh, let's see what happens. Hmm. Uh oh. And if all goes well, that day is today. Of course, what? Like this needs to be a private affair. Oh, he's gonna get his hands dirty. You understand? Oh. I cannot thank you enough. It's just a suit. No. He's looking very tanned. I would still be falling asleep to the screams of the insane. It becomes almost a white noise after a while, doesn't it? Has he had a fake tan? Tom? I do believe, Oswald. Arkham has made us both stronger. No. When I do, I'll let you know. We have some unfinished business. Not anymore. This is an active investigation. Uh oh. If you go anywhere near him, I'll have you arrested. For what? No law against two private citizens having a chat. <laughs> I'll come by later to pick up my check. Damn, the tension between those two is palpable. I bet I'd make a kick-ass P.I. Hypnosis. It goes way beyond that. He preys on fear, anger, regret. And if he gets in your mind, you're doomed. Uh-oh. Closer. You are so very tired of life. Aren't you? No, oh no. Now you can rest 
It wasn't a one-off thing. The entire episode's gonna be Jim trying to kill himself. Dude, put on the brakes. There we go. A little bit of chaos. Really? They left no one there watching the money? I know that together we will make Gotham safe again. Is this like a piss take of Trump? The fake tan, the the really weird hair, the slogan. The fact that he's a criminal. I get a feeling this is a take on Trump. Mr. Cobblepot, he just wanted me to confirm what Butch gave you. May I? Barbara. You know, I'm not sure I like this new thing of you storming in here every time you need something. It's almost like we're married. Scary thought. Very scary thought. I need a favor. Oh. Then you must be monumentally screwed. Yep. They hypnotize you. My sister. I assumed men like yourselves understood the bond of family. They don't look particularly well equipped to break into the police department. Regardless, if you'll do the courtesy of listening to me, I think you'll find that uh -oh. you're quite persuasive. Well, maybe. You learned your lesson. Yeah, totally. I... You're screwing with me, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Do it. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Okay. Oh, right in the nutsack. Oh, he got stabbed. We need a hospital. No, no hospitals. Are those scars? Nothing. They're nothing. You're not Bruce. I love this music. You're not Bruce. No. Just, just what the hell are you? I want her to just, just let me explain. And he's gonna pass out. I love that kind of really freaky music. You know, Butch is paying campaign officials to buy the election. But then he started putting other thoughts in my head. Thoughts of thoughts a brother should never have. Ugh. That's why I wanted to kill him. Ooh. I won't go back to him. Okay, that's another that's another level of disturbed. Guys, come on. It's a police station. Shoot them. He's got his watch. And he's holding a gun. Alice, go now. Goodbye, Mr. Gordon. Oh no. I love how his eyes go so dark. Oh, Christ. Yes, I moved on, Jim. What choice did I have? I went through the most painful period of my life alone. I cried myself to sleep every night. And like an idiot, I would wake up thinking, hoping that the next day you would show up at my door. Oh, you're so close. You just had to wait a little longer. Was there for me when I needed someone. Please. Now. 
you might feel a little prick. Is he injecting her or is he taking blood? Say goodbye to Selena for me. Thank her for the kiss. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa! He's standing there and you can't hit him. You really want. I saw it in your eyes the first time we met. You want to be free. Free from the pain. And you can be. Come on, Jim, he's gonna break it. And let go. He's gonna break it. Come on. There's a difference between moving on and letting go. No! Yeah. You did it! Now duck! Well, well, Mr. Gordon breaks my spell! <laughs> we belong together. You know that. I love you. You're insane! Oh, she's gonna die. No! Well, shit. James Gordon is gonna get you killed one day. Do you get that? Maybe. But until that day, I will never turn my back on you. Yeah, Harvey. He won. Only be viewed as a seismic shift, even by Gotham standards. Former underworld kingpin Oswald Cobblepot has won the mayor's office by a landslide. Well, there you go. Do you really want me as mayor? Yes. <laughs> I was a dangerous game to play. But I can be stolen with one glance. Now is that Bruce? It looks like. Yeah. Bruce Wayne. Oh no. no. But you could be. In fact, you could be so much more. She knows. Who are you? You might think of us as your parents. We've been looking for you. Oh no. They did. They grew him to replace Bruce. Don't touch the blood. Okay. Shit is about to get real. Uh-oh. Well, if I'm being honest, I did kind of expect Captain Barnes at some point to bite the bullet. At first, I thought it would have been during the end of last season um, with, you know, the whole Galavan thing. Um, he managed to survive that. But I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this. Being infected with Alice's blood. Now, I don't know how exactly that's going to make him go because... So far, we've only seen it happen to one person, and that made him go, like, rabidly crazy. But she said that it brings out the true person, so it could affect people differently. So it could be that Barnes doesn't necessarily go sort of psycho. Maybe he, I don't know, maybe, maybe he just becomes a little bit more... I mean, yes, he, he is going to be more insane, but maybe he's not going to be evident straight away. I don't know. I don't think this is just going to be a typical kind of uh, an almost one-legged man tries to kill everyone with his walking crutch. Um, you know, it's going to be something more sinister. Um, also, with um, the Mad Hatter, now that his sister is dead, how insane is he going to be? That was him sane. Can you imagine him insane? Um and yeah, oh, the incest stuff was super weird and super uncomfy. Um, 
but I could see that kind of happening from a you know a mile away. You know, his sister dying and him going completely batshit crazy. Um, the stuff with Bruce is interesting. You know, he is kind of like a Bruce Wayne if he had grown up on the streets kind of deal. Um, and it is obvious that that council created him to replace Bruce. Just I'm assuming in case Bruce didn't agree with them um, or created more trouble than it was worth, they would eliminate Bruce and replace him with this clone who would be more malleable to their desires. Um... The kissing with Selena, um, it was weird because, you know, we've seen these two characters be really good friends. And obviously there is something there between them. And and Bruce was remarking on that at the end. You know, he's kind of like a, he's very smitten, you know, because he just doesn't know, he doesn't know how to express it. You know, I'm pretty sure we'd all be the same if we were all brought up in the way that Bruce Wayne was brought up. I think you would struggle to kind of express your emotions and and socialize with people, you know, who had a different upbringing. Um, The stuff with Penguin and Ed, Ed played a very risky game, a very risky game. If that backfired, then he was a dead man, you know, uh, so soon after being freed by Penguin, um, he could have found his life ending. But it worked, it paid off, but now he's pissed off Butch. And by de facto, he's pissed me off, because I like Butch. I I think Butch Butch is a really um, interesting character. And I don't want this to come down to the point of those two face off and one of them has to go. Because, you know, I do like Ed. I think Ed's an interesting character element to the show. Um, And I don't want either of them to have to go yet. Obviously, as we get closer towards the end of the show... They're going to start killing characters off, but I don't want it to happen just yet. Um, but yeah, Penguin is the mayor, and I did like the fact that they were. It was a, it was a very kind of some subtle things and some not so subtle things, but taking the absolute piss out of Donald Trump. I'm assuming this kind of came out around the time of 2016 when Trump was campaigning, and you know the the election race was at its height. Um, but the kind of the fake tan, the really bad hairdo, the slogans, the fact that, you know, he's trying to buy the election, you know, he's a criminal. All that was just, a, you know, digs at Trump, and I, I'm all for that. It was so funny. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting episode. Jim getting over that kind of suicidal um, instinct that had been planted in there that obviously was very, very deep rooted to begin with. And I can definitely, I can definitely sympathize with that kind of position of struggling to see someone who you love move on. Um, not quite in the same situation that um, the gym has been in. Similar, but not exactly the same. Um, but I can definitely understand the feelings that you go through and the emotions that you go through um, during a situation like that. So, you know. It's um, it kind of hit me a little bit harder than I expected there. But no, another really good episode, setting up for some really interesting stuff, you know, for this season. And um, I'm wondering if this Mad Hatter character is going to be a mainstay now, rather than just being a couple of episodes um, story. It's going to be like a really kind of long-winded story. It'd be interesting if it was. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you for the next one.